Hey guys, welcome to Figure Fantasy. We're here to build up Yolanda, but before that, we're going to be going over her skills. Okay, so first and foremost, this is... Um, sorry, she is going to be a militarist, guys. So if you guys know, don't know it, um, she's going to be good um, from far range. So first and foremost, again, it's her um, basic attack skill. So you're going to be building her... And uh, her main weapon is going to be her basic attack. So she has a fast attack speed. If the target is ignited, triggers additional damage. Take note of that. That is her level 2 for her basic attack. Make sure that you have uh, somebody who has ignite or you're placing her in an ignite team. Boost the damage from basic attacks by 25%. This one, the Eternal Beauty and Love, this is actually in her adornment. Okay, I don't want to discuss more on her adornment, but this is this belongs to her adornment. You can buy her adornment her adornment outright in the store. Um, it's uh, it's going to be there. I'm just gonna point you guys to the right direction so that you would know where to buy it. It's actually in your um adornment store it's gonna be available here down below so as you can see i already bought it so it's gonna be you can buy it outright you don't need to um roll for rng for that one so let's go back to her and let's see how we're gonna build her she's down here she's only two star it's so shameful uh <laughs> anyway for her adornment, going back to her adornment, enhances Yolanda's basic attack. Each basic attack has a 13% chance to unleash the flask to attack the same target. Although this is 13%, you can build that up later. Um, it's going to be here. So you can build this up. If you get copies of this, um, the chance to unleash, that, that actually increases. So going back to her again, to went back too far so for her for her basic attack you have to more or less build your kit around her basic attack her ultimate however uh, initials energy 70 so if she has 70 she's going to trigger her ultimate as early as your other figures um deals damage to the current enemy and ignites them for five seconds so you don't technically don't need to bring somebody who can ignite other figures she herself has ignite built in her kit but again it wouldn't hurt if you ha have other you know other ignite figures in your team she doesn't necessarily need to be an ignite team to be successful but she complements ignite team so much that she is needed in ignite teams but again a clarification she can stand alone on her own um ignites them for five seconds then use a reagent to enhance herself for five seconds while enhanced increase attack speed by 80 percent so her ultimate increases her um enhances her attack speed probably making her basic attack uh, very fast okay so upgrade effect at level two while enhanced increase damage by 30 when her hp is higher or equal than 70 percent so take note of that in attacks have a 50 percent lifesteal when hp drops below 70 so you don't really need to heal her uh, or watch out for her hp she can heal herself when her hp below um, drops 70 percent as long as you upgrade this to level two and at level three increase the duration of the ignition of enemy and enhancement to seven seconds so instead of five it's going to be seven so it's going to be longer next is her passive okay so for her passive um it's fission forbidden solution so after the an allied figure uses an ultimate yolanda will trigger a flask attack so she works off um the figures around her the flask deals damage to the target of the current attack Upgrade effect, increase the flash damage dealt. If the target is ignited, increase the damage dealt by an additional 40%. So she is really built with a lot of damage built around her basic attack. Number three is increased flash damage becomes immune to all controlled effects. All Each controlled effect applied while immune triggers a flask attack and recovers 30 energy. Controlled effects include frozen, stun, knocked up, and locked okay that is her passive so impressive enough that um she's going to be she's going to be 
I can put her up to probably the highest tier, but I can't because most of the collabs there are more powerful than she is. She is, she can deal a lot of damage, but she can deal a lot of damage. She has fast attack, but that is to the extent of what she can bring. So probably the near, you know, the before the god tier uh, level, she could be there. And the last is her specialized tag. Violacium Conjecture. <laughs> Increased boost, dam uh, boost damage by 15 where there is no surrounding enemy. So she's actually good for bosses. Um, if I may say, um, I'd like to build her. But again, at this point, I don't want to spend so much um, on her. Uh, because I could get her in the store afterwards. But we'll see. We'll see. If I have extra pulls for her, probably I could take her to 5 star at least. You know, um, upgrade effect is increase life steal by 10 and increase initial energy by 20, which is nice because again, she will be going first with another boost of initial energy and boost damage by 25 when there is no surrounding enemies. So, again, she is going to be good for bosses. Okay, moving on to her parts, there is only one way to build her you're gonna need an attack set and you're gonna need a basic attack or this. This is not a basic attack. This is a skill set, which is a basic attack power of plus 18%. This is the only way to build her. You can't build her any other way. You can probably do a attack speed, but again, she already does. She already has that in her kit. You don't need more attack speed because her ultimate will ultimately, will ultimately give her additional attack speed. Okay, so parts, that is it. Very simple. You don't have to have another um, what they call this another option for her parts attack and skill set will do next up is going to be her badge this is my foremost recommendation so eternal nightmare badge is the best thing for her boost attack speed by 10 percent this is fixed this doesn't have a, a, a duration or a yeah a duration uh it's gonna be boosted by 10 basic attacks have a 21 percent a chance to bounce additional lightning off four times each time dealing 80 percent of attack and additional damage to her if you don't like eternal nightmare badge let, let's go to the badges i have one more um one more recommendation for her the other one is going to be this one your eternal phantom badge which also makes uh, gives her um, additional attack speed by 56%, but it's going to be only after, uh, for 10 seconds after unleashing the ultimate. So again, this could be good, but I would prefer the, the staple 10% because again, her ultimate does give her a lot of boost for attack speed. The 10% is going to be fixed for the entire game for the other badge that I'm recommending. This one is just your second option. If you don't have the yellow ones, I would recommend probably this one. So this one, the end time divinity badge is actually my last recommendation. If you don't have any of the other two that I mentioned, this one would be best for her because Basic attacks have a 30% chance to deal extra damage equal to 160% of her attack. Okay, guys. So as for team composition, um, I, I if you remember, I mentioned Yolanda doesn't need to be built. You know, you don't need, you need to build an Ignite team around her for her to be good. It's the reverse. She's going to be very, very good on Ignite teams. So the Ignite team that you are going to build around her would be... First and foremost, Ultraman. You have Ultraman. Second would be Zhao Yu. Zhao Yu is, um, if you can remember his skill. Um, he will be setting off these, you know, uh, setting off um, your enemies on fire. So also ignites all enemies at the same time. This is going to be for his ultimate. And the passive um, doesn't have any ignite properties. But with um, Zhao Yu with the team, you can almost ignite anybody. But again, it's it's not really needed for, for, for Yolanda's kit. But for the team, if you want a team of uh, 
five. So you have Ultraman, you have Zhao Yu. Um, if you need more survivability, you'll definitely need Erixia. And uh, you won't need actually Zhao Yun. It depends on if you need more, you know, more damage, you will need him. He does have an affinity for Ignite. Um, if you remember, let's uh, no, no, let's not promote him. So if he has this adornment, when Zhao basic attack hits, ignited enemies deal additional damage equal to 80%, 88%. This one can be good for him on an ignite team. So you have uh, Ultraman again, you have Zhao Yu, you have Zhao Yun, you have Erixia. So that's your five. The other one, if you need... If you need a more defensive lineup, you can go with Sanada Yukimura, definitely. So that is a team that you, you know, she's going to benefit. She's going to she's going to she's going to give a lot of benefit to your existing Ignite team. So it's going to be it, she's not going to be she's not going to be dependent on Ignite teams. Okay? So take note of that. But if you guys have built an existing Ignite team, definitely she's going to be part of your main DPS together with Ultraman. Okay, guys. So for my final thoughts for Yolanda, um, she's nearly there on top with the other, you know, the other god tier uh, figures. Most of them are collab figures. She's not as god tier as Tia, but she's definitely near the top. So I'm saying that she could be god tier if uh, you build her right, but in terms of what she can give she's just a tier below god tier so but she's gonna be good i tell you she's gonna be good she's gonna be good with bosses it's just unfortunate that she followed after tia that i wasn't able to you know to save enough for her pulls but um i'm not giving up on her she's definitely down the line gonna be one of my secret builds hopefully i could uh, at least take her now up to five star probably build her up to one diamond in the future and onwards so she's a very very good militarist one i think of the best that we have in terms of damage um very good for bosses you might consider building her if you don't have a militarist right now that you can rely on you can actually build her for free to play she's not really a must summon we already have a lot of militarists out there but if you have if you can spend on more pulls please take her up to five diamonds she is going to be a headache for your bosses in this uh what they call it in this game so that is it, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.